Hey everyone, Doug here with BNH. Just a quick announcement from Canon. It's official. The next entry in their mirrorless lineup is the full frame EOS R3. Now, we don't have many details at the moment, but what we do know is that the performance of the R3 will be positioned somewhere between the R5 and the 1DX Mark III. What we do know mostly relates to the super fast autofocus and burst rate capture performance. And to that end, the R3 promises a newly designed stacked back illuminated CMOS sensor specifically engineered to mitigate rolling shutter. Now this translates to readout speeds that enable continuous 30 FPS still shooting with the electronic shutter. And yes, that's with full dual pixel autofocus and auto exposure. Indeed, AF seems to be the R3's main focus for now. Canon has also detailed some of the promised AF functionality. One big standout is the EVF, which will allow the user to select an initial AF area simply by looking through the EVF at the intended area. That's something I'm gonna have to try out. Subject detection will be improved through deep learning technology and with the use of Eye Control AF2 and Servo AF, the R3 will provide extremely fast and accurate AF tracking. Now, we haven't seen much of the actual R3 itself, but we know from the front view that the camera body itself integrates a vertical grip into the design. Now, I'm not sure if this means that there's an additional battery space, but it does at least appear to provide a vertically oriented shutter button. High-speed sports and news photographers should keep this in mind. Additionally, the R3's body is weather sealed, making it a good fit for rugged, demanding environments. It's been really interesting to see the RF system grow so rapidly, and I know high-performance shooters are probably thrilled to hear that the R3 is on the way. But on the lens front, Canon's actually also announced three new lenses, the RF 100mm f 2.8L Macro ISUSM, RF 400mm f 2.8L ISUSM as well, and the RF 600mm f 4L ISUSM. Given that these are all L lenses, they should bring the expected razor sharp optical performance to Canon's mirrorless side, which by the way, now has 20 RF lenses. The RF 400 mm and RF 600 mm lenses share similar designs to their EF 400 and 600 mm counterparts, respectively, significantly reducing the weight of each lens compared to earlier super telephoto designs. So that's all we have for now. Stay tuned for more details when we eventually get our hands on the new Canon EOS R3 and the new RF lenses. I'm Doug with BH, and I'll see you next time.